medicine neuromuscular physiotherapy today we are going to discuss about the burr balance scale burr balance scale actually measure the balance in the older people while doing the functional tasks this also uh, measure the quantitative description of the function in the uh, clinical practice or research Bell scale is evaluated by a different reliable studies and uh, a recent study on Bell balance scale in Finland uh, indicated that a change of 8 points is required for the general uh, measuring of the balance uh, between two assessments. It is a 16, uh, 16 uh, point scale and each point has 4 further subdivisions like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0 indicates that the patient has no balance and requires the maximum assistance from sitting to standing. 1 indicates that the patient requires assistance but minimal assistance from other person from sitting to standing. And 2 indicates the patient uh, sit to stand requires many attempts. And 3 indicates that the patient can uh, sit stand independently by using of arms and 4 indicate that the patient is independent and can uh, stand by himself but, uh, no there is no use of arms so the patient is active stable and independent in activities of daily living now we are doing the practical of the scale as we discussed before that uh, the it has uh, it is a 5 point scale means 0 1 2 3 4 Zero means that the patient requires maximal assistance from the other person. So, uh, patient is unstable, unstable and have no balance. Like, if the patient requires maximal zero, the patient requires maximal assistance for standing. Please sit down. Now, one, if the patient requires minimal assistance from other person for standing. Thank you. Now we mark it as two. If the patient uh, using his arms for many attempts for from sitting to standing, like the patient not cannot stand in the first attempt and requires three to four attempts for standing. Good. Sit down, please. We mark it as three. If the patient uh, uh, stand up in the first attempt by using his arm. Please stand up. Like the patient stand in the first attempt but there is a use of arm. Please sit down. Now we mark it as four. If the patient stand by himself and there is no use of his arm. Please stand up. Like if the patient stand like this so he is active stable and independent in the activities of daily living.